Okay, so today I have with me the GTR5 from Beelin, and let's have a look. Okay, first of all, nice packaging, very beautiful. Let's open this up. Cool little box, actually. We've got the user manual in a bunch of different languages English, Deutsch, Spanish, Italian, French, Russian, I believe, and Japanese. So what else have we got? Oh, it's a little uh, protector. Just there. Uh, what else is here? Oh, this is the actual product itself. Let's turn it upside down. Let's put the that there for now and look at what else is in the box. More protection. A lot of protection. Oh, accessories, right. So we have a power cable, I believe, yeah, power cable. And two HDMIs. I will explain them in a moment. And a bracket. So the bracket is if you want to connect this, mount this to your monitor, and then you can use this small bracket to mount it. The HDMI's are, if you mount it to your your monitor, you can use the small HDMI. So the long cable is if, the long HDMI cable is if you want to have this just sitting on your table, you can have it there and you can just connect this to your monitor, no problems. So let's look at the actual the little beast itself. So this is the GTR5. Tiny, absolutely tiny. It's, I mean, if you compare it to the iPhone 12 Pro, it's not much bigger, right? Okay. It has, let me see, at the back. So we have two LAN ports here. We have your power port, uh, HDMI, display port, two USBs, and two USB 3.0. A lot of heat dissipation. We have your power button. We have your reset button. Another USB 3.0, a USB type C, and your phone jack. And here you have two microphones. So here the fingerprint sensor is actually for locking and unlocking your PC. You can have a hard drive inside here. Okay. And then inside here you have your SSD and your RAM. And to take this out, you just unscrew these little, well these rather large screws actually. The screws are relatively large. So the reason I've opened this up is because this is actually a copper heatsink uh, coated in nano coating for better heat sinking basically to transfer the heat away from the CPU which is underneath here which I'm not going to open. Okay so this is the Crucial 32 gigabit DDR4 and this is the Kingston A2000 500 gig Okay, and here you have a thermal pad, and this will actually transfer the heat from your SSD to this outer casing, and I know it says hard drive here, you can install a hard drive inside here, um, but the heat will transfer through this casing and then out through the actual uh, mod. Uh, that way it will reduce the heat of your SSD. And this casing for the hard drive 
uh, it actually will reduce any vibration from the hard drive and also any sound. Uh, usually you will have some noise coming from your hard drive when it starts working. So this will help reduce that sound. Um, so the hard drive casing will actually stop any interference uh, from the hard drive to your CPU and also for any noise that you might you know, usually hear from a normal hard drive, it will also stop that. So now I am This is actually really quite easy. It's not as difficult as it looks. And the RAM is dual slot RAM, so you can upgrade your own RAM actually. Easy peasy. Okay. Okay, so I've just ran the CPU-Z and I can see the core speed is fluctuating between 2,500 and about 3,000. And you can see the video is running perfectly. No skipping, no lagging. Okay, so now we're gonna benchmark the SSD. This is a Kingston A2000 500 gig. Let's go. And uh, here we can see the read and the write, the speeds. Okay, so we finished now. So overall, it's got a 3400 score and for the reading is 1,400 and for the writing is 1,200. You can see in 4K, it will read at 57.27 uh, megabits per second and the writing will be 156 megabits per second. For the 4K 64th thread, it's 1,100 and for the writing, it is 900. Okay, so now we're going to run Cinebench. Uh, let's see the score. So the final score was 4,497, which puts it on the leaderboard at fourth place below the Ryzen Threadripper below a 16-core processor. This is the 9000 uh, Ryzen 9 5900HX. Okay, so we're going to play a little game just to have a look at the FPS and the CPU. And so you can see the FPS is 31, CPU is 51C, pretty good. 33% on the GPU, only 45 degrees, really, really good. Nice good quality, you know. See? Not bad. Really smooth. Very smooth. And for such a small product as well. It's really beautiful. Okay, 
So let's connect to some Bluetooth devices. Turn on your Bluetooth device. Go to your Bluetooth settings. Select Bluetooth. And you can add a Bluetooth connection here. And then you select your Bluetooth and whatever. Mine has already connected, so I can disconnect it. Remove the device, let's remove the device, and then let's search for device, Bluetooth. See, my Bluetooth device here is connecting. Small design has always been your passion. Fast gaming has always been your passion. Powerful performance has always been your passion. Small, fast, powerful B-Link Mini PC, taking your passion to the next level.